Hi, I'm Sonia and to be impressed, this is a collective reading. Tarot reading, don't try and force a crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take or resonate to leave the rest for someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Hopefully you're having a great week. It is Wednesday here. And let's see what we have for you for this week. This is a collective reading for Gemini. Welcome, Gemini. Let's see what we have for you. Got an itchy nose suddenly. <gasps> oh, okay. So this is some sort of painful ending you're dealing with. This has been stabbed in the back multiple times. Some kind of ending that you can't come back from. Possibly to do with a third party. This could be that there was a lot of gossip or something, some kind of interference. Could be that somebody loved to party. We have a divine masculine energy. This is Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Somebody who could be interfering and caused an ending. This person could be quite an emotion, like quite emotional, but it looks like there was something hidden here. There was some sort of liar, cheater, stealer, some kind of trickery, thievery. Somebody was interfering for sure. And they were hiding things. They were sneaking around in the background. But you're very intuitive. You actually got some gifts here. Intuitive gifts. So, you know, maybe you're clairvoyant. Maybe you're actually able to see the truth of things. We also have a masculine energy. You could be a masculine energy or this is Aries so there could be something to do with the masculine this could be somebody who's sneaking around or you are the one that is this masculine this is the most amazing king in the deck somebody who bodies all the kings of the deck somebody who is actually quite stable but there's somebody here who's quite emotional so this could be somebody who is sneaking around or this could be you and you're dealing with this water sign somebody who's emotional distant past we've moved into calmer waters things are actually starting to smooth out here and you possibly started your own business this could be that you're financially stable Virgo Taurus Capricorn we also have happily ever after this is the home the children the family you had all your happily ever after the recent past though you become very financially stable this is material wealth this is amazing wealth this is like partnership. This is though that you actually 1010. We have completions. This is actually you're carrying every burden. Possibly things have become burdensome for you. This is that you're carrying a heavy load and you're ready to drop that load. But you're also very defensive. You're def defensive against somebody, possibly in a partnership, where you're ready to fend off whatever is not serving you. Or you're just kind of feeling cornered. So your thoughts are that you're ready to manifest something new. Oh, you actually planted the seed so things are starting to grow. But it looks like you're thinking about a love situation. This could be your card because this is Gemini. There's somebody maybe that you have a lot of passion before and you're manifesting them. Or you feel that you manifested them. But this is that you have choices of love possibly. But it looks like it's going to be a bit of work. So the future here is somebody who's rushing in to speak their truth here. They see, oh, we have two 10-10s. Ten 10-10-10. Ten ten ten. Two 10-10s. Ten ten in the future, this is actually amazing wealth. This is the happy leave wealth they're coming together. So you had it in the past. You had both cards, distant past and recent past. But this is actually coming together. It's like you're going towards your happy leave after, but you actually need to take action. You need to move forward and actually go for it. And go and grab it by the horns. You're fearing though that things are moving a bit too fast. You're very worried about this. You're actually quite fearful about the swiftness of something. You're worried that things are moving too fast. But this is actually your knight in shining armour. So you're actually wanting to move in swiftly. But you're, and you know, to be a knight in shining armour, this is messages coming in too quickly. This is also commitment. So this is Taurus energy and also Pisces Cancer Scorpio. So you're, you're fearing the swiftness of this movement and, you know, how things are moving. But you're actually wanting commitment. So other people see you as manifesting. Your ships are coming in here. 
But also you're dealing with a bit of heartbreak. There's some sort of heartbreaking situation. It's a karmic situation. You need to cut yourself free and smell the roses because you're blindfolded and you're staying stuck in the situation. You're ready to manifest something, but you need to move out of the situation first. And you need to deal with this heartbreak. It could be some sort of third party that's stopping you from moving forward and manifesting what you really want. Your hopes are strength. You're very strong. This is Leo Energy. Oh, we have double confirmation. This is actually double Leo. So this is actually happiness and joy. Very strong. You're hoping to be strong enough to, you know, have happily ever after. You're also dealing with some past life connection. So you're really hoping for a reunion, possibly with someone from the past or this past life soulmate. So this is the outcome here is the Empress. This is a whole lot of noise out there. So there's lots of interference. So somebody is trying to interfere with you coming together with this beautiful feminine energy. So there is divine counterpart here where you are manifesting your, you're coming together with your beautiful Empress. Somebody who embodies all the queens of the deck. Somebody who's very fertile, able to birth new businesses, babies and all sorts. You needn't to wait a little while for things to come together. This is possibly about divine timing. And this is your justice. This is a soulmate relationship. This is actually coming together with your actual divine counterpart because of the heart. Because of the hard work that you've done. But you're trying to hide. You're still waiting. You're trying to, uh, you know, wait for the right timing. This is also Libra energy. But it's also a soulmate partnership where you're coming together and you're actually going to balance out the scales. It's like your hard work, you're getting rewarded, you're getting, it's justice for you, and it's beautiful. It's a soulmate, and it looks like it's a destined connection, but it's kind of divine timing that you're waiting for. So very cool, very happy for you, bye!